भविष्यताम कीर्ति ही श्री ही वाक च नारी नाम स्मृति ही मेधा धृति ही क्षमा सो हियर भगवान इज टॉकिंग अबाउट सम ऑफ दी देवताज डेटीज हु प्रिसाइड ओवर सर्टन एस्पेक्ट दैट ऑल ऑफ अस आर अवेयर ऑफ सो द फर्स्ट एस्पेक्ट ही टेक्स इज मृत्यु सो मृत्यु देवता इज यमधर्म राजा ही टेक्स केयर ऑफ द डेथ सो यू कैन से देवता ऑफ डेथ वन हू इज प्रिसाइडिंग ओवर द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डेथ now death is very important okay all of us fear death but you just imagine that from the beginning of the creation if there was no death will there be place for us to put our feet so whenever the person's age there is a there is a person's age limit given based on prarabdha when that is over the prana has to leave the body the sukshma sharira subtle body has to leave the gross body sthula sharira that is the order and that order he is telling he is and he is describing sarva hara sarva hara hara means the one who rocks so mrityu who rocks everything so there are shlokas which describe this that when a person dies Okay, till the house, when the body is in the house, the family members are there. The body goes out of the house. His wife will come along with him for some distance. After that, his son, because usually son is the one who is cremating. So son, and after that, who? So which means death takes away all the experiences we are having. in fact we get so much clinged on to each one of the experiences in terms of people friends families spouses all of them we cling on to them so much that we don't realize at the time of death everything will drop so there is a small anecdote i want to give with respect to this then i am he saying sarva harastasmi so there is a small uh, story where a landlord has a lot of land and he wants to give it away to people he says i will give a competition what is the competition you run you start running tomorrow morning 6 o'clock till evening sunset you keep running and whatever width you cover that much of land is yours this is what he has told so there is this one person who said yes i want to have this land so he keeps running he starts in the morning 5 o'clock he runs the whole day he runs all day five more minutes left for the sun to set he says so much distance is there if i cover more i will get more land so he starts running very fast so much so that he is exhausted he falls dead now does any land belong to him anymore no so therefore mrityu sarva harascha chaham that is what aham mrityu sarva harah that is what he is telling so he is the robber amongst all robber he is mrityu who who bhagwan so bhagwan himself is in the form of yamadharma raja presiding over the order or the principle of death death is important but at the same time one should realize that we should not cling on to something so much that we do not understand that ultimately it will go away okay so that is what is the learning from here then udbhavaha udbhavaha means source from where everything comes of what bhavishyatam future prosperity future wealth i am the source how is the source now because unless and until there is a potential it will not manifest as future prosperity or future wealth like let us assume all of you are writing exams getting very good marks is there in the future okay but unless and until you have the potential to write the paper and get the full marks will that happen in future so potential is in the form of a provision given to you to have 
future prosperity and wealth and he says that potential i am without a potential nothing can get created there has to be it has to be present in potential form like i am speaking now unless and until whatever i speak is potentially there in the mind it will not come out of the mouth and therefore that potential that provision is bhagwan himself the source for the future potential is bhagwan himself then bhagwan is talking about certain devatas they who are in the form of who are given feminine form like these devatas are presiding over certain capacities so let us see what are the capacities and also the devata that is mentioned in here you can see amongst devata i am kirti and the devatas are all nari nam here nari nam means devata who are in feminine form lakshmi saraswati parvati lakshmi is a presiding deity over prosperity wealth saraswati presiding deity of knowledge and over knowledge she presides over medha she presides and then parvati is over power shakti and also health good health all of you are ayurveda students bnsy bny students then yoga students all of you all are talking about how to maintain health and if illness comes how to ensure that the illness is gone so therefore durga devi or parvati devi is the one who takes care of that so here he is mentioning few of them i alone am in the form of all those presiding deities who kirti hi fame shri hi wealth vak vak means the power the capacity to speak to communicate not just to speak but to communicate that is vak then these are the capacities presiding deities are all feminine deities so nari na then smriti hi you are able to remember right how will you know you are able to remember how will you give importance to that memory you think about people who have agnesia think about people who are not able to even recollect what is their name who are they their identity itself they forget so therefore we take it for granted that we are able to recollect a lot of things this is what happens a person who is very very intelligent takes for granted that he is able to recollect certain things medha shakti but people who do not have that capacity know how important it is and that capacity is there because of the devata so he says i am in the form of devata who is in charge or responsible for smriti recollection and there is one more important thing you recollect similarly you see that you are according to vedic culture there is rebirth and in rebirth you don't recollect what happened in the previous birth naturally good otherwise that will be a load already you recollect so many instances you fight with your friend or you fight with somebody you recollect that is in your head every time you see that person you recollect and that gives a kind of some problem or discomfort that should not happen so smriti hi does not mean only recollection recollection of appropriate knowledge at appropriate time and when not need, needed recollection will not happen that also is there when not required recollection will not be given to you the power of recollection that is the beauty of this devata smriti hi medha medha is the power or the capability to receive what is communicated to retain what is communicated and to assimilate and recollect what is communicated when required karna in mahabharata yuddha was given a shapa what is the shapa he was given at the time you need you will not be able to recollect the knowledge which is required for using the shastra and that is what happened so even amongst powerful people the recollection is a part of medha shakti only it was not possible some people are not able to receive or if they receive they will receive not what is said exactly they will have some biases in head they will receive based on that bias so receiving what is communicated retaining and recollection together is called medha shakti then dhritihi dhritihi we call it as fortitude so all of you have set a goal that i want to finish 
this degree and there may be many obstacles that will come in spite of all those obstacles in spite of falling because of those obstacles you get back and you continue that is called dhritihi okay so they call it as fortitude we can uh, uh, translate it as fortitude so that is dhritihi when everything is smooth going on that will not be calculated as dhriti when things don't work for you you fall down still you are hurt still you get up and you walk towards the goal that is called dhritihi i am in the form of devata who is in charge of dhritihi and finally kshama kshama means accommodation patience all of us have some level of kshama depending on on what we value and easiest way to find out kshama is when you are in the signal when you are in traffic signal when the traffic signal goes from red to yellow to green we do we have the patience to wait till it comes to green or we are already crossed halfway of the road when it is yellow that is kshama accommodation patience accommodation when it comes to others patience from your side so lot of things happen which are not under our control are we able to accommodate all of that still continue our goal and therefore the power of accommodation the capacity to accommodate the capacity of patience is called kshama and this can be increased by doing certain tapas tapas in the sense willful self denial like ekadashi vratam keeping fast for one day these are all increasing our will so kshama patience is very important for that we have to use the will because natural tendency is to do it immediately we have to use the will and use the shakti kshama this is what is told by bhagwan so bhagwan himself manifests as all this capacity in all of us thank you i like to call upon vikas of our flowers let's conclude the session of the sarva shanti mantra sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadraani pashyantu ma